real thing, eh? <laughs> no. And how funny is this dropping her? Like, and she's fine, like, hey gosh. Gotta put that jewelry on. <laughs> oh, I don't have a chain, I ring, dog. This shit was fucking, that's real gold. It's for my knee ass. Knee ass, knee ass. Don't say that. Well, so yeah, my father's from Nicaragua. What? Yeah, Nicaragua, bruh. Wow. Where my knit gar is at, huh? Well. <laughs> All right, guys. We're leaving. We're going. Dude, can I show this house? I want to show that I'm. I want to show that I'm bald. <laughs> Beautiful boy, Prince. Mm. See you, sweetie. See you, darling. Love you. <laughs> Should I bring Gordy's now? Yeah, great. about it a while ago we're like we're gonna come and taste your food and, and uh, film it what'd you order just the hunters no nice. we're gonna share our hunters nice okay yeah. my roommate and i yeah, this uh, like a month ago we went down this weird rabbit hole of this <laughs> bizarre chiropractic youtube channel how to see the title it's magical yoga pants at first time ring digger it doesn't get any better than this <laughs> yoga pants but this man just played with her hair three times in a row to talk about her hands. You know, creepy, these, eh? you know when you see so much bullshit, okay, you know what I mean? This yeah, yeah. Like, there's just so much bullshit, and as in, in the sense of like, people with a, just have a little bit of authority, it's so easy to sound like they know what they're talking about, and then you see that she's got lower back pain, and he's gonna try and do the same cracks that he does to everyone, and just, it's what you know, it's like, it just doesn't, it makes no sense, but you can make it sound like it makes sense. Show, show the camera the bit where he fucking absolutely blasts this chick's back apart. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, this bit, this is sick. The human back. <laughs> <laughs> That's sore, isn't it? <laughs> That's sore, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're stabbing her in the face with your fucking thumbs, you lunatic! <laughs> yeah, this bit, this is sick, dude. This is sick. Look at okay, this machine, bro. That's right, it's like, um... <laughs> Thank you. You can get a brisket burger here, but I've had it so many times. So I changed it to sourdough bread instead of the normal gluten bread. Changed the chips, which actually cooked in lard, which are fine. I just don't feel like that in the morning. Just salad and no veggie oils. A bit of like sun-dried tomato, a bit of pickle for the salt, so your electrolytes. Delicious. And we have here our two lovely sausages, eggs, some bacon. We have avocado, some kale, and under that we have some sauerkraut. And if you think about that, like way of eating, right? Also, no nitrate bacon and stuff like that. Like, you can start your day on carbs, uh, simple carbs, like get a blood sugar spike, or you can get, like, he just got, okay, choline, um, vitamins, I forget the other ones, but like, for, from the egg, the good fats, he's got the probiotics from the kimchi, some greens for the fiber plus whatever else, magnesium, he's got avocado fat, protein sausages, and he's got more protein here, so that is how you rebuild your body, instead of like, fruit and, like an oat. and oats and shit. <laughs> Why do you wear the same clothes as me? 
Where? Right up there, that's the one I used to drive, dude. That's oh, crazy, that's, that's the actual... Oh, is that the boys? That's the boys. Catch them. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Oh yeah, that's an RS. RS what? RS. Fucking pretty dope, man. <laughs> Pretty tight vehicle. You're gonna be whipping a foreign? A foreign? Yeah. What's that? European car. Oh, yeah, I've got You're a driving foreign. I've got a transporter. <laughs> yeah, I love it. What kind of deals can you do here? It's an accessory. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'll just uh, put that on a double <laughs> Have you shot with good guys before? You know, no. Is this good guy? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Office Works. Nah, the, the over where Bunnings is now. I've oh, been there for a bit. Crazy. Oh my god! Yeah, this thing's sick, man. Does it come? It comes with a little dead cat. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing is sick, man. This is way better than the other one. Chuck this little erection guy on there. Uh, mind your business, bitch. Get out the way. That nigga eating like God is great. I gotta say, I was very poor. What should we do? Let's go over the rock somewhere? Yeah, go do a little Tai Chi. Yeah. Work in. Come on, Dom. What is the most conscious way to handle negative emotions? Um, to appreciate them. To appreciate them. The minute you try to push against them, you juice them up. But to notice, ah, there's anger, ah, there's greed, ah, there's fear, ah, there's all the things you can feel. Alright, unlock it. Gilly suit. What's that mean? Like, you know, they're using the army as a sniper. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What are you wearing? I have no idea. <laughs> Stand in that part there, and then now just squat down. Let's stay completely still. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, no seed oils. No seed oils, please. Sweet, yeah, sweet, mate. Classic, dude. Sweet. Come on, darling, have a get. Don't want to leave that behind. Cheers, bro. All the gear. Semi idea. Let's have a look at this fucking shoulder. Alright, so I got a little bit of like a, I don't know, like it's like a trigger point, something in the rhomboid, so either rhomboid or it's like a third rib, bit of jiu jitsu shit, but we'll see. So four fingers should be my distance from my spine. Yeah. Pretty well the same. Pretty well so the same, is it, yeah. Okay, so let's just see. Yeah, so you go up to the middle of the scap, cross, it's a little bit protracted on the left. So it's too far forward? Yep. A little bit protracted, I would say, on the right too, just a tiny bit. And more on the left. 
How many centimeters is it, bro? Um, measure it. Eight, eight centimeters, my fingers. Yep. Yeah. Just, just a bit over eight, and then just a bit over eight. So just okay. slightly. Okay. Yeah. True. Um, and what about up and down rotation? Um. All right. So we want, we want a slight would slight bit of upward rotation, don't we? You've got that, definitely. I'd say it looks like about 10 degrees. As long as the bottom of the step's like nine or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's 10, roughly. 10, 10 at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then 10 at the bottom of the other one? A little bit upwardly rotated more on this side. Okay, so this is a little more downly rotated. Yeah. Side. And then what about the 60 degree angle? Yeah, from here. Let's go. Yep. This one's a bit less actually, 57. All right. So like still good though. Okay, so yeah. the shoulder itself, the rhomboid's not too bad then, eh? Mm. So maybe it's just like an over overuse thing or something. Like I'll feel the pain, I can feel it. So mm. let's clean the rhomboid out a little bit. Does that look like, so like? Yeah. Is there any tipping or anything in the scat? Slightly, your body hop slightly on the left. So this hides it really it well. Be there? Yeah. Yeah, slightly tipped. Okay. So the upper rotation is good. Slightly, both slightly a tiny bit tipped. Yeah. And I would say maybe like maybe one centimeter too far forward. Yeah, so it should be two thirds in yeah. front yeah. of the acronym. Yeah. So not I'm just in li lining it up with your ear. I would say your ear's actually in front of your shoulder. Yeah. 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 So like I need some neck Which work. like makes sense, eh? Because like it's kind of flat through here. Like you from jits and that, you got heaps of muscle bulk. Should we clean the wrong wood out? Yeah. Do you want to do it on the table over here? Yeah, on the table. Yeah. Staff so might have to do some, some spit or something. <laughs> <laughs> so that's left one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, which rhomboid? Left. Left. How good is it when cheeks like give you a back massage and they hop on you like that? Mm. And you just feel really dominated? I love that feeling. <laughs> How's that feel in there? Good, good it's not too bad. Nah, it? it feels nice, man. Your tissue feels nice. Yeah, it feels pretty good through there. Uh, hey? That's, that's tight there. Yeah. Your trap or your rhomboid? I have a trap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can fully feel like a headache here. Yeah. Just releasing his um his upper trap right now. We were releasing the rhomboid, which pulls the, it's like retracts the scapula towards the spine. I know his, his shoulders weren't too bad, but I think he's got like a bit of an overuse thing going on from jiu-jitsu and stuff because he's quite active. Would you agree, sir? Mm. And I can, right now I can feel, oh, like the, my temporal bone, like a headache. Oh, ears up for one sec. There we go. And it takes the headache away. So it tells you that, like right now when he's on my up, upper trap, it creates a headache. If you had a really tight upper trap all the time, right now his compression is always almost acting as like pushing on it. But you can have a trigger point there, also creating those headaches. So it just tells you that, oh yeah, there's a link between the upper trap and the headaches. How's the neck feel after that? A bit freer? Oh, yeah, neck feels free as fuck. Yeah, like you probably just need some deep, deep work. Yeah. Like, oh, boots, boots, boots. <laughs> oh, hear that? I got yeah. it. Yeah, that's Matt. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you sore? Let's quickly check your internal rotation. Yeah, from the other day. Yeah. Oh, a bit better? Yeah, it looks pretty good to be honest. A little bit tighter. It's super free external. So we want to get about at least 30 degrees of internal rotation of the hip. This one grabs quicker today actually. Yeah, See how it's 20? As soon as you grab it, I felt that. 21, 22. And then we compare this to this side. 37 or some shit. There. 34. Well, what you got to think is internal rotation. So then release the external rotators and then we can start to look, like look deeper in that. Let's, let's get you seated on the edge bro and check that. So now we'll take the hip to 90 degrees, which will give slack to some more of the hip flexor external rotators for the psoas of the iliacus to the sartorius. Why would that be? So there's no, that 37 there, right? It, it evens up pretty well with the other one when it's at 90, but not when it's prone. So then we got to start thinking that something on stretch 
It's got to be one of these front, again, it's like Iliacus, right, for mm. you? Man, you're back, mm. and I'll do an Iliacus release. Okay, so Iliacus is right inside the ASIS, there's ASIS, right to the inside. Mm -hmm. And then let's actually bend the leg a little bit. You get them to lift their knee up, it'll pop right into your fingers. Yeah. Does that feel like not too bad there? It's, it's okay. I feel like um, if you went a bit higher around that area. So I'm right on that inside. Oh, yeah, shit. That's good. That's good. All right, now lay on your belly. <coughs> okay, so we're at zero degrees. Definitely better. 30, right there. See, that's when it moves his tail. We're looking for his ass moves. So, zero off again. Right there, shoot, 34, yeah. Boom, 34, 36. Every time, obviously, it's giving me a little stretch. It's getting further and further. So see what I mean? Like, he was getting around with the 22 degree internal rotation of the hip. Now he's got 36. Now he can internally rotate better. He can pronate better. He can push off his leg better. He's just walking around with a balanced hip that's not pulling the femur in the wrong spot of the acetabulum, which is the hole for the hip, almost grinding on it. Like, it's almost like scrubbing the tire of a car. So these little tune-ups is what it's all about. And we have to do it because we're in the Western world and he does jujitsu. There's nothing natural about pulling your knees to your chest all the time, but that's why his hip flexor is driving it, right? There's so many things that could drive that, but we found for him, it's, it's that. And then you could even mobilize afterwards now, take it through that range. Some of an MCL thing, I'd probably support it sometimes here if they got something like that. And then hold, and if we want, we can do some like relaxed techniques. So you can contract for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, so three of these. So I'm giving a big stretch of his external rotators right now. Four, five, and you always come out of it slowly, I find, otherwise it's sort of, Stiffen up. So now let's check after that. It's sort of like clean the hip out. Just mobilizing it. About the same, 35, 36. Cool, there's a little tune up. That's how you tune your body up for a hip and a bit of a neck. We'll do other, any other parts of the body you guys would want to see actually, like, mm. or issues you would have. Like, um, I don't know, just because now this is sort of what we're, we're doing. I love just playing. And this is how we sort of learn. So yeah, if you have any issues or, or things you want to know about or assessments we could do. Mm. Um, and general feedback on the blog. Like if you want us to film funny shit, cool shit, we're growing this shit, we're going global. Fun. Can I come? Hello. Grizzles, you grizzling? <laughs> she going to sleep? Grizzly? These are so sick. These, I was gonna buy these, eh? Sick. Do you wanna swap for my craps? These are called craps. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, let's have a fucking jail from dude. This? Or this? Number one. <laughs> Kiwana's bad boy. <laughs> Kiwana's bad boy too. You've got, we'll have one of these. So, yeah. check this out. The vitamin C, right? Vitamin C, so you absorb gelatin, collagen, also immunity. What we're gonna do, let's just open a couple of these now. How good is this having tons of shit that you have? Like, just so you know, every product we have, we were having it anyway. So we're like, why don't we just find the best shit? More importantly, so I can just grab shit when I want it, you know what I mean? So they have to go to the shop all the time. So it's nice having tons of gelatin, tons of cacao, tons of coffee, tons of cacao, uh, and vitamin C, I should say. So I'm really big on vitamin C recently. So when you, when you put vitamin C with gelatin or collagen, you absorb it more. You don't need much, you need probably half a teaspoon. And you have 1.5 tablespoons of this per serving if you want that really crazy skin, or if you're handling a connective tissue injury or a, a joint injury. And if you have a tendon based workout, we'll go into that another time, but say you're trying to strengthen your tendons or strengthen some cartilage, you would have the 1.5 tablespoons an hour before you do that tendon based workout and it will fourfold the collagen synthesis compared to that just doubling collagen synthesis from the workout. So say if someone has Achilles issue, you can do jump rope, load force to that Achilles tendon, it'll downlay collagen there, but if you have 1.5 tablespoons of this shit beforehand, it'll fourfold that. So look up Keith Barr, tendon guy, shout out. What he said, what he said. Can I have one of those? Wait, dude, look at my van. My van's getting a fit out right now. Okay. This is fucking gangster. Shout out to Sunshine Coast van fit outs. Look at this thing, dude. Your cup, I guess. Yeah, man. Oh, nice. It's because of all our YouTube subscribers. Because of all our YouTube subscribers, we can afford to pay a filmer. And is it? See this? Pay a so we got 1.5 tablespoons of gelatin in there, and there's a bit of vitamin C, that's all you need. You mix water with it, and you just down it like a supplement, okay? You have to down it like straight away, otherwise it will turn into a jelly. So you put a lot of water, stir it, down it. Doesn't taste how bad, doesn't taste how good either. But it's fine, you know? So this 
is how you get that crazy skin. Skin elasticity increases, tightens, wrinkles disappear. You can look up PubMed studies on it. And plus it's super noticeable when you do it yourself. Honestly, if you do this like two days in a row, you'll notice it. You'll notice it when you touch your forehead. That's when I notice it, ready? No, I'm kidding, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> okay, here's yours. <laughs> you are, oh, man. We need more mugs, we've got one at the moment. I don't know, I don't know where they all went. There you go. Right, thanks, man. Oh, okay. Alright, let's do it, lads. Not you. Not you, darling. Not you.